Bodybuilding is about muscle. It's about beef. Uh, coming up in the sport, I've always had people thinking I would never make it, telling me I'll never make it, I don't have the genetics, I'm just a big wolf. I think it's a personal thing, you have to find, like when your muscle's ready to train again, you'll feel, you'll feel ready, you have to train instinctively that way. So. So to anybody out there who's serious about bodybuilding, diet is very, very important. You have to be very consistent with your eating if you want to grow, just like with your training or anything. I really like going to the gym and developing my body and feel the iron in my hands and training really heavy. How much more can you improve for everybody to say, whoa? Motivation's gotta be over the roof, but now you're gonna mess with the big boys. And it's a different ball game. It turns your body into a machine. The biggest breakthrough for me was after the 80 Olympia. I said to myself, I've gotta come in bigger. I've gotta come in big. My physique needs to be bigger. And people thought, they dismissed me. They thought, oh my God, he's a fat man now. It was my strategy, though. I wanted to handle a big iron. I wanted to have better leverage on the bar. And it worked as I progressed. Probably eight ounces of beef here, half a cup of rice, and a cup of Ezekiel cereal. So we get about 100 carbs, a little over 100 carbs. together, we're growing together, and we're going to finish together all the way at the Mr. Olympia, baby. Days, I kept my carbs high. 300 grams a day was my requirement. Every single day within my caloric realm or structure. Six weeks, seven weeks before the show, I was looking phenomenal, and I was 20 pounds heavier than ever on stage. So I'm like, oh my God, six, seven weeks to go. I'm like, I'm in great shape. And I'm 20 pounds heavier than ever. He was massive, and I look at him now, 
and I look at today's lineup and I still look back and think, I can't believe how big he was. Days I've been hitting it hard. Every single day, intensity 100%, not letting up on anything. You have to see him guest pose at 305, 315 pounds. It is like a Godzilla monster walking out on stage. Pray for greater challenges. Hey, Beth, how you doing? It's Ronnie. Hey, what's up? Hey, can you put my food on? Yeah, I'll get it going for you. I really enjoy my meal here. As you can see, I just love chicken. It's my first meal and I'm starving. Oh, this thing I can't. I know I'm not going to be able to do it. That truck, it's going to crush me. I never climbed under a weight thinking that. I climbed under that fucking weight thinking I was a goddamn gorilla and I could do anything I set my mind to. I was reading a magazine and it said, Tatter, I've seen stories. Again, in the world, pressed 360 pounds for four reps. Nobody's ever pressed over 400 pounds. Again, in the neck, and I was already doing. 405 for like six to eight reps behind the neck when I was 19 years old. Wow, I must be a lot stronger than most people. That's the first, when I first realized maybe I can be different than other people. You know? The camera will never justify his size. The man is incredibly humongous. He is just larger than life. to live the kind of life you want to live. Everybody in this room is capable of that. You've built the discipline to do that through your training. So it's inspiring to be in the presence of so much testosterone and hardcore athletes that like to kill it. <laughs>